Hey folks, it's Stefan here. Welcome to another episode of Goetia. I'd say we've used the glasses to the degree that we would need them. There doesn't seem to be a back to this place. Can't go in there. What's this again? Some pages. Gabriel. Okay. This is just his log. Well, seems like this picture. Do we need to find a chisel? Is there a way to go that way now? A lot of tools, but none of them seem to be chisels. Set of wood saws. Gardening tools. And I don't know why it specifically highlights this. It seems like there must be a reason it would do that. Well, we haven't actually tried to take this hammer out and hit the rock with it, have we? We don't have a chisel, but maybe it'll do something. No, it will not. I mean, we'd need whatever it is we can hit with that to be present. It doesn't seem like we can hit anything else with it in a useful way. Won't let us do anything with the actual table. And that's the only thing that we can send through this box, which has not been present in most of the photographs. Maybe there's some other sort of an element that lets us move things through those. Because we would need to get a screwdriver, I think, to that. Was there a way to get a screwdriver into this? But we did have a screwdriver back in the manor. Where has that gone? And where was that chest? Where is that chest? Not in here. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I can't go into that one. Can't go into these, either. I, I imagine this is going to be a picture, and it's going to take us somewhere. But where is the screwdriver? That's what I want to know at the moment. Can't go that way. I can still go down. Alright. There's those still. It seems like we should be able to move this back over there, but that's just not something that it lets us do. Where could these plants have come from? The greenhouse, but it's two floors above here. The greenhouse is on the top of the building, huh? Okay. We know that there's this note from the guy in the woods, Anton. We haven't been able to make any progress in the woods yet. Can't go that way. Yeah, this is here. I wonder if there was a way over here. No, that's green. It did open up a fair amount when Malphus was removed, but still plenty that we can't get to. I do wonder if there is a room that we have missed. It was just in here, and this was just the beginning of the stairwell. All 
All there is is a chessboard. Can go up here. Oh, yes, the billiards room. Is this the screwdriver? Yeah, that's the screwdriver. Okay. A photograph that's seen better days, I can't make anything out. I wonder if we need to use the glasses on that as well. Oh, yes. That was the mother and son. Entertained at the billiard table. She says her room is just on the other side of this wall. This wall, perhaps? We can't go that way. Where are we right now? Yeah, maybe this is her room in here. That would explain why she fell out this window, I suppose. So this is what we need to do next, I guess, is get rid of this Paymon, right? We have to find a way to interact with Paymon. Oh yes, there's a safe here that we still don't know how to open either. It's just, you can change the numbers on it. It's probably not going to be 1908 like the other one was. Not really easy to see which way it's going. There it goes. Oh, there is no O. So it's 1 through 9. And we haven't found anything that gives us a combination for that. We have the screwdriver. We could try to take the screwdriver, but I don't think there's a way for us to get it into the pictures. can take it quite a ways, though, because we can take it through here, and we can take it into this room over here, which also has a box. I wonder if this box can be used to transport things. This might not be a bad place to collect it. Might be able to transport things here. I still haven't seen any use for these letters. I have written down somewhere, but now I don't know where the piece of paper is. I haven't seen any meaning for that yet. Let's zip out into the woods for a second. As we weren't able to make any progress in the woods. Even though there was some information there. There was something about knowing the path through the woods. We start here, which I guess is the ruins. And then it's a question of what the other elements are, but how would we know that? How would we be able to determine? The sound of the animals or whatever that they have out here is pretty scary. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's too much help there. Seems like our best place for progress is still to do with the photographs. Although, there was the turning on of the power of the engines down there. We could bring the screwdriver down to the Silver Labyrinth. I'm not sure that's useful, though. Oops, this wasn't what I meant to do. There's the fields of stone I wanted. This is where this big chart was. 
And there's a lot in this area that we can't see because it's too dark. If only we could figure out how to get the engine to run. Which would apparently turn on the lights. This red glow is very eerie. This is another bunker looking type thing. Two, three. I don't know what we're trying to do with this. There's nothing that we can interact with here, so we'd have to bring something to this, I guess. This is all too dark to see. Looks like tables. This goes further into a natural cave, which have gravestones, but again, it's going to be too dark to see. So really nothing to do down here until we can get the lights functioning. Oh, thankfully that light works. There's nothing on the second stage that we can do anything with. And all there is is a light up here and then some cleaning products. Some petrol. There's a pipe in the can, yes. I mean, obviously there's a pipe in the can, but... What can we do with said pipe? Nothing. And we know that it is running down to the engine. Strange way to have it hooked up, though. Not really clear what we can do there. So we've got some boxes we don't know how to open that might allow us to move things back and forth between the picture worlds. There's this. Suitcase. Reminder. Mother, Edward, Father, Robert. So those are two sons. I'm sure this is useful in some way, I just don't know where it applies. Nineteen fourteen is the last time they were here, huh? Oh yes, there's a jug here. We can do something with the jug. I guess we can bring this all the way down there. Maybe we can fill it with petrol. thing I can think of at the moment. Does appear to be right. A can, some petrol, and now a can full of petrol. Good. just going to bring it down here, I guess. Alright, and that apparently powered that. And gave us something in the journal. Electricity just makes a little logic to master. I should think mother and father 
sorry, I should thank mother and father for fueling my natural curiosity. The modern age is no match for me now. Well then, let's explore the shelter. Okay, so let's go back to the first part. Where there was the red light, because there was only a couple elements there to see. Well, there's still no light in here. Must be a light down in the bottom part, then. I thought that was going to light the whole thing. Oh, wow. There's some interesting shapes there. So much to check out. The stained glass is lit up by a lamp from behind. It's quite beautiful, but rather odd. Yeah, it is pretty. The vent is still clear. I can feel light breeze coming from it. Okay. A symbol is drawn on the flask. Three concentric circles around a triangle. And we can possess that. Here's another of these boxes, but no, it doesn't look like we can do that. A pepper mill that contains some unknown powder. We can't possess that, apparently. Some labels are still legible enough. Rasula, Oria, Sage, Royal Fern. That's a puzzling set. These characters look like ancient Arabic, not a language I'm familiar with, but we can possess that as well. So that's two things we can possess in here. These mixtures have taken some interesting colors. Bottles filled with plants, mushrooms, dried leaves, and algae. This tree is almost red. I feel dizzy touching it. How can a plant like this survive with no light? Interesting. A key. Oh, so there's actually a key there. Crescent moon. Profile of a feline. And we can further interact with these. Oh. So there's an order that we would need to turn them on. And there's definitely a timer running as a result. Some notes, several recipes, or maybe chemistry formulas. Protection. Recipe. Something alemia. Hold on, let's go back and find out what the journal entry was. This room was used as a workshop for chemistry or alchemy. I doubt the plants mentioned in this journal are of this world, however, and their origin escapes me. One thing in particular intrigues me, though. The journal mentions Boone. If he left some trace here, I should look into it. I might find answers. I suppose I need to align these symbols in the right order, whatever that is. I only have a few seconds to do so, and I didn't manage to restore power to every room. Align these symbols in the right order. We can click them. It's not really the same as aligning them. All right, more Rasul Cyantha. One or two extra pinches of powder. Try with triangle. Slate works without crystals as well. Check with something else to dissipate. Only the nutrients present in the rock feed the tree. Still, its vitality suggests that something else is feeding it generously. Merely touching its roots leaves me exhausted, panting, and drained. I can scarce imagine the consequences of such strangeness. The red color of the wood turns brownish when plunged into water. Propagating it through cuttings is impossible. One of the leaves is stuck to my skin for a few minutes. Red streaks colonized its center, but left no mark on my skin. This cursed plant is an infection. May it never leave these tunnels. I considered setting it on fire, but I cannot bring myself to do it. The catacombs cough up more of this vegetation each day. If Mother planned to make a deal with Boone, I hope she's ready to face the consequences. I am putting this research aside for a while. 
The creation of my labyrinth requires my, all my attention. I'm leaving for Scotland tomorrow. These undergrowth tunnels should be closed up, but I'm just too curious. Cat, moon, and then something 24? This is a leaf. This must be a leaf from the plant. They're saying cat, moon, key, but that doesn't make much sense. Doesn't seem like that was it. There's still not light out here, I guess. Yeah, we can't see over there. There's no way to travel up quickly. So, we've got a flask. Symbol is drawn on the flask. Three concentric circles around a triangle. And we have a book. So two things we can interact with, uh, move around or possess. And there is this vent, which seems to mean there's an air source here. See the codex? Let's see this. This is fire, air, water, earth. This is something about interacting with this plant. Try with air. Check with earth to dissipate. Cat moon something 24? It's like U24? Is that a symbol that's in here? Rock salt. It's the only thing that looks like a U. Oh, that's air, not Earth. Earth is pointing down. You see this better? One, two, three, four. Five, six. So what is this? I don't see this symbol. Am I missing it? I don't see the symbol there. What about two? Two is probably Mars, right? Three is Venus. Four is a moon turned on its side. I don't see that either. But maybe the symbols have something to do with the direction that they're in. This is Mercury Quicksilver. And this looks like a two, almost. I don't see that one either. Hmm. Yes, FL. Sulfur Fixum Solest. I don't see anything called Fixum here. I don't see anything called Solest either. 
Mundus Subterraneous. This is very, very confusing. I'm sure that this is very important. I just don't have any idea how to begin with it. This says try with that or check with that to dissipate. So that's fire and air. Fire and air. I don't know. I have no idea how we're supposed to interact with that. We have the flask that has a symbol on it. Three concentric circles around a triangle. I was thinking we were going to be able to do something with that. This flask may or may not contain something. It's this symbol here. So this is the recipe for this, which means that must be what's in this flask. Protection. So it's a protection spell of some sort. We can take this. Maybe there's something behind the book that we need to see. There are other books. So no, that wasn't it. These characters look like ancient Arabic. Why would we need to move this book? Would those symbols mean something in Arabic? No, I don't think so. All we have is annoying clicking now. Two things we can move. One of them seems to be the results of this recipe, which, from what the journal seems to be saying is what's keeping this tree alive. I suppose I need to align these symbols in the right order, whatever it is. I only have a few seconds to do so, and I didn't manage to restore power to every room. What does that mean? It seems like two separate statements to me. We didn't get all the power back. The jug is still available, which is interesting. Should be enough fuel for a couple of hours. Gosh, I hope we're not going to be up against the time limit here. What is this? I didn't notice this hole in the wall before. There's a light behind. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, that sound means we found something. I don't see any openings up there. Just lit candles. A new altar waiting for me. It's a rather oppressive feeling. It's a teddy bear. What? It's Ted! What are you doing here by yourself, poor thing? So that's her teddy, I guess. There's a ladder. A ladder? The ceiling might be an interesting lead. Oh yeah, there's a way to go there. Some colored wires and a small broken down clock. It looks like electrical equipment. Nothing we can do with it though. Uh, this one is the same as the one on the panel upstairs. I'm in luck. Panel upstairs. 
So we must be saying that this is a fuse. Which panel upstairs are we talking about, though? Oh, it won't let me go this way. Hmm. It's not letting me go up there. Hold on. Let's go see what this is talking about first, because there was a way up. Oh, this just takes us up here. Can't see anything. Ah, uh, must be this. It doesn't take an expert to tell me that some fuses are missing. Okay. Here we go. Well, workshop, corridor, extension. So can we move this? To the corridor? Did that help at all? Ah, yes, that lit this up. Very good. Oh, new notes. Not exactly a surprise. <laughs> Generator overhaul. Done. Fixing lights in the laboratory. Done. Taking the supplies to bunker. Lift overhaul. Done. Replace the fuse in the crypt switchboard. Draw a plan of the bunker. Study plant sample as far away from the manor as possible. Cords, measures, small shovels, picks, a true archaeologist, arsenal. No one will be angry at me for borrowing them, I suppose. Okay. Lots of tools, then. Is that what's in here? A briefcase. Locked, naturally. I'm nothing if not curious, but this suitcase with the coded lock that was carelessly left on a crate at the entrance of the secure shelter is very intriguing, to say the least. I don't know where to find the code, though. I should think about it while exploring the underground. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so it's just another number. Goes up to nine and includes zero. Okay. Can we illuminate this? Can we do this part? Because that's really what I want to see. For now. Go down to the crypt. Oh yeah, this is this way down now. It's another fuse, but it didn't seem to let me go that way. It doesn't seem to let me take the fuse. Presumably I do need two of them lit at the same time. It's not letting me go up. Getting this fuse out of this room won't be easy. I don't see any way out. Hmm. So we have no way to do that yet. We're small enough to just go through a crack in the wall. We've already seen that stuff. We want to go over here and see what's in this part. Grave markers. I don't see any name on this tombstone. And this has a hole. A, s a full circle. A sphere? A star? Oh, it's another one you can click. A name has been removed from this one. I can almost make out about a dozen names on the back of this tombstone, but all are illegible. And that's another symbol, that's another symbol. W-H. Okay, so there's a circle, a swan, a raven, a cat, a moon, and a key. Circle, raven, swan, cat, moon, and key. So there's five things, oh, sorry, six things that we need to click in the correct order. Hmm. 
Hmm. With no particular hint as to what the order would be. And that's why we need the other one lit. So this has to be lit and the other room has to be lit. So the first thing to do appears to be to figure out how to get the fuse out of there. A ladder. The ceiling might be an interesting lead. We can go through the ceiling. Is there a teddy bear? Why is there a teddy bear here? Why is there an altar here? And we can go back down through here. I didn't know we could do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't check that, did we? We did light this up, but we didn't go and see what's in there. We need to do that. This could help immensely. Ah, it's a trap door. A range of supplies, not much else. Now, this was lit up merely so that we could see that there was a way to open that. So now we can get this up. And now we can power both the sort of crypt area, and the workshop. Thanks for watching this episode of the Let's Play for Goetia. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and click the subscribe button so you know when I'm posting videos in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.